Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Carla, Elizabeth, Cristina, Marlio, and Carla, Daniela. How are you doing today? Good evening, teacher. I'm doing great. Thank great. you. Good. Nice to hear that. Did you have a good weekend? Mm, yes. Uh, honestly, yes. Anything interesting? some video games with my boyfriend, so it was a good weekend. Excellent. What's the name of the video game you played? <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> my son <laughs> loves <laughs> that <laughs> game. <laughs> yes, my son loves it, so I'm familiar with that. <laughs> yes, it's, it's nice. Awesome. Okay, let's see, Christina. Uh, oh, Elizabeth is... Ok, es una way. Ok, so entonces está como entre Cristina ahorita. Thank you so much for letting us know. And thank you everybody for being on time today. So we're going to start the class. You remember what was the last topic that we discussed on Friday? Did you remember what we studied on Friday? Uh, we talked about uh, some duties using okay. the simple present. Uh huh. And... Uh huh. Good. Thank you so much. We also uh, studied or review a little bit about the frequency adverbs. Okay. So I hope that you have completed that exercise because we have one exercise about the frequency adverbs in the platform. So let's check to start the review. We're going to check here in the platform. That's just the homework number seven. And we have to complete the sentence. We have to choose the adverb of frequency that better describes the activity. So the first one, let's read the first sentence. It says, my friends go to a club on Fridays. It's really fun. So would that be rarely, usually, or never? Usually. Yeah, it's usually. So if it is every Friday, so that can be usually. Okay, it sounds like a good option. Let's see number two. I have classes on Sundays, never every day or once a week or never? Never. Um, never? Okay, let's see. I never have classes on Sundays. Sounds like a good option. So number three, I don't drink coffee. So sometimes, always or usually? Usually. Mm -hmm. Sounds like the best option. Good. Now, birds sing in the morning. So would that be always, every always. day, or on Sundays? Okay, let's try always. Good. And number five, it says she early for classes. Always is, is always, or always. Is always. Is always. Okay. Uh-huh. Excellent. Uh-huh. So when the verb B is in the sentence, it's like a little bit different. So you did it all correct. So we got 20 out of 20. So your answers are correct. Good. And the exercise is good to go. Not any problem here. So I hope that you have this completed and let's continue here with our material for today. Um, this is already in your WhatsApp group. And yes, today is uh, our class number eight and we will talk about everyday tasks. So this is the topic for today's class, speaking about everyday tasks. And this is what we studied just to like to make a, a short review. Um, this is what we were studying the last Friday. 
And uh, to speak about everyday tasks, we included the frequency adverbs. And we also discussed that there are two ways in which we use them depending on the verb. If it's any, any, any verb, the structure is for affirmative statement is subject plus the adverb and then the main verb. And we have here one example. Daniel, subject. Always is the adverb, passes is the main verb, and then we have a complement. But if the verb of our sentence is be, meaning am, um, is, are, there is kind of different, okay? So we have to place the verb be before the adverb of frequency. So the structure is a little bit different. So it goes like subject, verb be and adverb. And we have an example here. He is our subject. Is is our verb be. Always is the adverb. And then we have the complement. So uh, is this clear? We discussed this on Friday. I'm just making a review for you. Is this clear? Yes. No yes. question. Okay, good. Yes, because the, then we have this practice. In our page number 22 of our material, we have this exercise. It's how to use uh, adverbs of frequency. And we also discuss about um, the meaning or the frequency that each of them represents. And we have these ones, always, seldom, rarely, sometimes, hardly ever and never. And we have a couple of examples here. We often change the menu. We always give away promotional items. They regularly select the new option, okay? Those are some examples of sentences that they have here with the frequency adverbs. And now, the exercise for us is to write sentences about the activities that you do at your workplace. That can be a combination of the activities you do at your workplace, or you can include activities that you do at home and the workplace. So it's, it's up to you. The instruction of this exercise is to use the adverbs that we have here to state how often you do those activities. We have um, always, rarely, hardly ever, seldom, sometimes, and never. But we're gonna do something a little bit different because um, when we're speaking, uh, we we don't say just sentences, okay? Cuando estamos hablando, no, no hablamos a puras oraciones, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a hacer un pequeño párrafo en vez de hacer solo oraciones. Vamos a variar un poquito para que usen también conectores y, y podamos saber un poco, eh, compartir un poco sobre sus rutinas diarias. Y puede ser que pongamos cosas, lo que hacemos en, el, en la casa y luego también en el trabajo. Y para eso, para... para para que no empiecen como de cero, uh, les puse un ejemplo acá. Hay una reading here. Okay. So, the idea is to use the adverbs of frequency. Esta es la idea, que usemos estos adverbios de frecuencia en un pequeño párrafo describiendo lo que hacen sus actividades diarias. Okay. Y la frecuencia en cuanto las hacen. Para eso, les puse este ejemplo de este párrafo. Vamos a leerlo. It says, some of my friends think I have a boring daily routine, but I like it. Okay. ¿Quién quiere continuar leyendo? Para que no se aburran. I want to hear you. <laughs> okay. Who wants to read? A volunteer to read the paragraph? Yo, teacher. I usually get ah. up to about six or six train in the morning. After my alarm clock wakes me up. Wakes me up. Wake, wakes me up. Fears mm -hmm. uh, burst my teeth or teeth. Uh-huh. First, I brush my teeth. 
I brush my teeth. Teeth. And, uh -huh. teeth. and shave and wash my face. Uh -huh. Then I get braced and go downstairs. Downstairs. Downstairs to have a breakfast with my family. Okay, thank you, Valmore. Who wants to continue reading? Nos dejó aquí Valmore. ¿Quién quiere seguir leyendo? Hola. Yes, hola, Cristina. Hola. Okay, Cristina. ¿Dónde thank se you. quedó Valmore? Aquí, with my family. With my family. I was, I... Always. Always had coffee, cereal, and los on, os fruit. That cereal. Uh -huh. Here is cereal. I always yeah. have coffee, cereal, and lots of fruit. Okay, muchas gracias por corregirme. No, that's okay. Esa es la idea. Sí, 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 porque si no, uno pasa por los errores y, y pasa y pasa y no sabe. Oh, that's good. Okay. Thank you for your participation. Continue, please. Uh, tax me in the picture with my wife, Renata. Así es, teacher. Yes, Renata is the same. Mm -hmm. Renata, tal cual está ahí. Yes, uh -huh. is her okay. name. She is Renata. It's a, a bus to work because I don't I don't like to drive. Um, I always, always, always arrive at arrive. All right. Excellent. Arrive. Uh -huh. All right. Ask me, ask me office before uh, a. I am never late for work. Five o'clock is me favorite. Favorite. Solo va favorite. It's kind of difficult, right? Let's see. My. My. Favorite. Favorite. Esta palabra es bien tricky porque la mente nos dice favorito. <laughs> But yes, favorite. Sí, por eso mejor le pregunto. Este, Parece y, mucho y como la leemos que la mente nos dice favorito. Favorite. <laughs> favorite. Excellent. Favorite time of the day because I finish work and go back home back home and see my my no my wife my, uh -huh. uh, my wife mm -hmm. and children again again, again. again. excellent again. thank you so much Christina thank you. any other volunteer to continue reading yeah excellent Mario thank you so much se quedó en Again. Children A. Uh -huh. I, I have to Thomas, who is six years old, and Patrick, Patrick, who is eight. You can eat dinner together in our dining, the in our dining room at around six. And after that, I hang out with my wife and kids at home. We like to watch TV travel show together. In addition, two or three times a week, I do ex exercise in the evening. So I can stay strong and healthy. Excellent. So Thank you so much, Mario. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. A volunteer to continue? I think I can say Yo, teacher. Thank you, Carla Lorena. I think that this is very important. Finally, at about 9.30, I go to bed, read for a while, and then fall asleep. asleep. Mm -hmm. Sure, some people think my daily routine, routine okay. is a little boring, but on weekends and all holidays, I love to fly airplanes for fun. Ajá. La última oracióncita. Ya no alcanza, no alcanza a ver, teacher. Oh, no sé sorry. si pantalla. Creo que lo puedo decir arriba. It's, it's my favorite hobby. Ok, si sí, mi pantalla no me lo alcanza a enseñar. Thank you so much, Carla. Okay. okay, very good job. Y la otra palabra que nos hace como interferencia con la, esta es uh, important, important. 
So, ajá, en inglés, como el estrés sería como acá en la, en la, en la segunda sílaba, important, important, ajá, important. Y como el español es, al, es, es en la primera sílaba, importante, ajá, pero en inglés, remember, important, important. Excellent. Thank you so much. Do you have any question about the vocabulary? Okay, Carlos Humberto is having issues with the camera, but he can hear and speak. Thank you so much, Carlos Humberto. All right. Any question about vocabulary or sí, vocabulary chef. nuevo? Uh -huh. Cristina. Don, it's a downstairs. Uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Downstairs. Downstairs. Okay. Downstairs. Mm -hmm. Downstairs. Any other question? Yes, teacher. Yes, Carlos. What's the meaning of hang out? Hang out is pasar tiempo. En este caso, él dice que después de eso pasa tiempo con su esposa y, e hijos en casa. So you can hang out with your family, you can hang out with your friends. Eso es pasar tiempo. Thank you. Excellent question. Sometimes, so I can say I rarely, I rarely hang out with my friends. I don't have time. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's funny. When I hang out with them, it's really funny. <laughs> Any other question? Okay, so as you see, it's a combination. Aquí él habla de cosas que hace su rutina en casa, en el trabajo. Estamos utilizando, eh, es un adverbio de frecuencia. Ahí están eh, incluidos. So el first one, let's see. Ay. So we have here, we have usually. And then the connectors, right? Luego vienen secuencias first and then, etc. Always, another advert of frequency. Okay. And again, always, never. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, well, esto ya es de los, son like, like defined, son definidos two or three times a week, etc. And, Yes, so, y hay conectores de secuencia, ¿verdad? Primero, luego, después, finalmente, etc. In addition. In addition, ajá. Eso, in addition, muy bien, que observó el in addition, es como decir además, para no estar and, 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 solo y esto, y aquello, y lo otro. So you can use in addition también. Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay, so you have this example and I'm going to continue sharing the screen so that you can um, you can see here and um, write a short paragraph, no un parrafote como este. <laughs> you can say a fine line paragraph, uno de cinco líneas podría ser, like similar, but not too big, it's not necessary, okay? I'll give you time for you to write it in your notebook and then we will have time to share it with the class. This is the example. You can do something similar. Remember the adverse of frequency. You can use any of them. Pueden usar cualquiera. Always, never, uh, rarely, hardly ever, usually, etc. And also the new words. Pueden usar las palabras nuevas también.
teacher. How can I say something similar like um, me arreglo el pelo, me peino? In English. No le escucho, teacher. Yes. Okay. Uh, me peino, pues sería I comb my hair. Okay. I comb my hair es me peino utilizando un peine, ¿verdad? Un peinito de mm -hmm. dientitos. Eh, pero si utiliza un cepillo, podría ser brush. I brush my um, my hair. I brush my hair. Y si es que se hace algún tipo de peinado, es mm -hmm. I get my hair done. I get my hair done. Okay. Thank I you. get my hair done. You're welcome. I los escribí en el meeting chat. Finished? Or you need more time?
I almost finished. Okay. Finish, teacher. Okay. One more minute for the ones who are still working. I'll give you one minute. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and uh, we will check attendance and then we will share your paragraph about your daily activities in which you're practicing the adverbs of frequency. Let's say, okay, say present as soon as you hear your name. Just well, today is Monday 27th. Abel Erenilson. Present teacher. Thank you, Abel. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Valmore Alexander Marroquín. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Carlos Emilio Cotto Dueñas. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Present teacher. Thank you. Tessia Noemi Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Hazel Vanessa Menjiva. Present. Thanks a bunch. Yulisa Yamilet Villalta. Present teacher. Thank you, Yulisa. Carla Daniela Molina. Present teacher. Thanks. Carla Ivani Anaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Lorena Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Present. Thank you so much. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Present. Thank you so much. Melanie Alexandra Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Mirna, Le, uh, Mirna Janet. Melissa Estero Reyana. Present teacher. Janet. Melissa Ester. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Roberto Emilio. Roberto Emilio González is not in class. Okay, let's continue checking. Santos, Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Victor Noé. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Okay, now we are ready to check your work. Okay. Okay, I uh, volunteer to share the paragraph. You just can read, it's not necessary for you to share. Okay, Carla Daniela, thank you so much. 
Okay. okay. I really like my job, but sometimes I feel the day so long due to the traffic. That's why my boyfriend and I prefer to wake up early. We always get up at 4 a.m. and I arrive at work at about 6 a.m. First, I like to get my hair done because the helmet always ruins it. After that, I put on makeup. Then I have breakfast around 7.30 and I brush my feet. And then I wait for the arrival of the bus. Finally, I can start at work at 8.30 a.m. I have a busy routine before I start working. Okay, excellent. Excellent, paragraph. Carla, thank you so much for sharing with us. And yes, traffic here is a headache. It's a nightmare. Yeah, es el pan de cada día. <laughs> yes, I don't see any way that they can solve this because yes, they are um, I'm building new, um, doing extra roads, uh, etc. And they are doing a lot of something, but the traffic is getting worse. It doesn't improve, it just gets worse. So. Yeah, I feel <laughs> you teach. Okay, um, any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Carla Ivania. Okay. My routine in during the week is normally I get out, get out at 5 a.m. with my son. We take a shower and they take our breakfast uh, always. Um, to go while awake to leave the house at 6 a.m. He seldom leave light. I go to a school, my son's school. He always start at 7 a.m. And then I go to work. I I almost 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 always start at 8 a.m. And normally I leave at 6 p.m. Is there don't much work? Okay, if there is not much work, you leave at 6 p.m. Yes. Wow, that's really heavy. You're very busy. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> I see. Excellent. You did an excellent job with your writing. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Hazel. Okay. Uh, my, di my daily routine from Monday to Friday, I get up at 40, 30 a.m. I prepare my breakfast, usually our sandwich or bread with eggs or beans. Then I go out to the gym at 40, 15 a.m. I arrive around to 5, uh, 20 and I finish do exercise at 6.45. Next to take a shower, then I go to work. I rarely late for work. I usually arrive at 7.15 a.m. At 8.30, I eat in my breakfast. Finally, at the afternoon, always eating a vena with some fruit is the como de snack, algo así. Uh, and, snack, okay. Uh, and finish to work at 5 p.m. I back home um, twice, two twice a week after to work. Work, I visited my grandma-in-law. Is correct? I don't know. Grandma yes. in love. Grandmother-in-law is like uh -huh. a pero es la abuela de, de su de su pareja oh, yes. ajá yes yes es grandma in love ajá entonces two twice after to work I visit my grandma in love yes yes And just that okay 
Excellent. So you're very busy, but you you do some time to um, exercise, right? Yes, in the morning. <laughs> Excellent. That's yes. nice. Okay, and that's just oatmeal is avena. I la escribí en el chat. Ah, okay. So yes, very healthy. Okay. <laughs> so do you have oatmeal as a breakfast and do you exercise as well? So that's, that's those are good habits. Yes, I try. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's good to take care of your okay. Well, yes. anybody else? Me, sure. Okay, I heard Marilyn. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, um, I speak on, on some of, of um, my days in my job. All right. Okay, Mondays and Saturday are day that are less mentally exhausting. Yeah. Really, Mm, one of those days is stressful unless it is the end of the month. I always schedule payments on Thursday and Thursday since I am in a share of accounts payable for the company I work for. And I never pay on Saturday because the and doesn't release transfer for providers that day. And I sometimes talk to the um, accountable area out of other companies about documentation issues and credit limits. Oh, wow. That's really heavy. So it worked like in accounting department with um with collections or just as accounts payable, just accounting? Yes, account payable. Accounts payable. Yeah. All right, that, that's kind of stressful. I don't like numbers. <laughs> yeah, it's really stressful because are a lot of um, providers, I think. Yeah. Providers, okay. Because, yeah, because it's a supermarket. Okay, so yes, I imagine a bunch of work to do every day. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Thank you so much for sharing with us. And I think I heard Victor. Victor, did you want to read for us? Okay. Um, my daily routine is quite normal. I always wake up at 5.30 a.m. and get up at 6 a.m. Then I take a shower, and sometimes I eat breakfast. I arrive at work at 8 a.m. Normally, my working day is eight hours. I usually drink four or five cups of coffee daily. I leave work at 5 p.m., and I almost always go straight home. All right. <laughs> Excellent composition. Okay, so now I know how do you handle a lot of things it's because you get six cups of coffee. <laughs> That's your energy yes. booster. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, yes, I get it. Yes, I, I love coffee as well. Thank you so much, Victor. Anybody else would like to share? Not the chat. Okay, Christine, thank you. Okay, my daily routine, I uh, usually is white um, at 5 a.m. I have breakfast at 7 in the morning. In the morning, I start work at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. I, mm -hmm. I, I start my work routine, lunch, lunch from... Um, 20, 12, uh, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12
the gym being I had dinner, then to then to English class and to sleep. Finish. Excellent. So you go to the gym as well. You exercise. Um como dice de vez en cuando. <laughs> uh, so de vez en cuando, pues from time. O tres veces a la semana. Time. Mm -hmm. So you can say from time to time. Eso es como decir de vez en cuando. Ahí se los escribí en el chat porque es una ah, palabra okay. que no puede servir mucho, ¿verdad? Okay. From time to time. Okay. Y si es tres veces, so you say three times a week. Ok. Ok, three times a week. You're welcome. Anybody else would like to share what you have done in your composition? Nobody else? Yeah, teacher. Ok, Cecilia, thank you. Well, my daily work routine. The work day starts at 9 a.m. I sometimes I arrive 15 minutes early and I open the agency. Then I turn on the light and clean, clean my desk. My boss always prepares the coffee. I love coffee too. For that, we drink coffee to start the day off right. Then we do different activities related with the sales and administration. We finish work at 7 p.m. I go back home very fast because I have English class from Monday to Friday. Okay, excellent. So a very busy day, but the important thing is that you get your coffee really early, so you have energy for the rest of the day. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Anybody else? Is anybody else missing? Would like to share the composition? Mario Ernesto, thank you so much. Bueno, a ver cómo me queda. My life routine is como quit all. I am always working. I get up at 5 a.m. in the uh, I I five in the morning. I take a shower. I brush my teeth, and then I prepare my granddaughter to take her to school. When I return, I prepare my breakfast and at 7.55, I go to work. I am never late. I am always there before 8 a.m. Sometimes I feel with the routine, but I remember that I am poor and it passes. I am best. <laughs> On weekends, I rarely go to the beach, even if only a step out of the house, I am already in the water. Only that. Excellent, Mario. Thank you so much for sharing. And yes, that is our motivation, right? Remember, you're poor and you have bills to pay. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, that's why we why we work so hard. Yes, and I say you take your granddaughter to school, so you share time with her. Excellent. Okay, so um, anybody else? Oh, yes, estamos todos. Carlos Humberto, thank you so much. Okay, hi, boy. In my daily life, I always start at 5 a.m., wake up, get up, take my bath take breakfast for me and my daughter. Sometimes we have breakfast together. We rarely bring breakfast. We take the bus, get to school to drop my daughter off. When I go visit to my father before I go to work, he is always at home. 
and sometimes we have breakfast together. We chat and after a few minutes, I here to work. Then I go to visit my father. Before I go to work, he, uh, no, no, eso yo lo dije, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Perdón, perdón. <laughs> okay, uh, I go to work. My working hours are from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. My lunch break is not always at 12 o'clock sharp. On my way home, I visit my father again. Then I go home. I rarely buy anything in the supermarket or fast food for dinner. I always take the bus at 6 p.m. I get home, prepare dinner, then take a bath, change my clothes, and get ready for my online English classes. After classes, I check everything for the next day and go to sleep. Excellent. Well done. Excellent. And good to you make time to visit your father. Michelle, all, all those activities that you do in the day. You're a very busy person. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. And I saw Janet raising hand. My daily routine is I work all Monday to Friday. I usually I get at, at 4 a.m. in the morning. Then I take a shower and brush my team. Always takes the bus at 4 uh, 20 a.m. Uh, I arrive at my office at 6 20 a.m. Breakfast usually meal with cereal and pancakes. I never drink coffee. I work off at 7 a.m. to 4, uh, 45 p.m. I live at my home, house at 7, 7 p.m. All right. Excellent. How do you handle without coffee? <laughs> How? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good reason. <laughs> and okay. no se duerme. <laughs> yes, ya no va a tiene que, que buscar un sustituto de café entonces. Yes, okay. Well, wow, thank you so much. Excellent job. Is there anybody else who is missing? Okay, good. So, um, Excellent, and thank you so much for your participation. You did an awesome job. You did it perfect. So, yes, um, you've been amazing. Okay, so lo han hecho excelente. Muchas gracias por su participación. I see that you feel more comfortable. Se siente como más eh, confiado um, or more confident, yes. So it's más confident cuando lo hacen así, primero escriben y después lo hablan. So it's a good way to practice your speaking. Para que así vayan soltándose un poco más con su speaking, pueden practicar hacer parrafitos así como el que han hecho ahora, so that you get confident, para que vayan agarrando un poquito más de eh, eh, confianza eh, al momento de hablar. Y importante, solo algunas palabras eh, para que hagamos un refuerzo, porque yes, también han mejorado mucho, han mejorado la pronunciación. Así es que, pues, que más que seguir practicando y seguir mejorando cada día. Remember, eh, siempre hay que como, si hay que hacer el sonido final eh, de una palabra es muy importante, porque si la pronunciación, igual, aquí, si decimos sick, es como decir enfermo, right? So, yes, yo entendí que estaban hablando del número 6. No, no todos, pero por ahí oí un sick. I, I work from 6 to 8. So, it's 6. 6. Porque si decimos sick, es como enfermo, right? That pronunciation. So, make sure that it's pronounced like with X at the end. 6. 
And other one that is getting difficult is, um, he estado escuchando en algún par de ocasiones. Este es bien difícil, yo sé, you. The first one is you. Usually, 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 usually. Yes, uh -huh. entonces, uh, yes, usually. And the other one I took note here is, remember, it's pre. La primera, esta suena como I, prepare, prepare. Y esta no, no pronunciamos la E última. Y la primera suena como I, prepare, prepare. I prepare my breakfast, et cetera, et cetera, prepare. The other one is did, did. That final sound, did, did, did. Okay. And the last one, que la oí un par de veces por ahí, que es arrive. Acuérdense, arrive. Arrive, arrive. And then that's the only thing. Si se dan cuenta, son poquitas eh, las palabritas que había que reforzar. Uh, so yes, it's, it's, uh, uh, es un gran avance. So yes, congratulations. Um, and thank you so much for your participation again, porque sin su participación, pues no es posible saber cómo van. <laughs> And yes, you're doing great. Now, um, let me stop sharing so I can check here. Okay, let's continue here with this. And I'm sharing the presentation once again. Okay, um, there we are. Okay, so we were here in this paragraph and you did it awesome. So we can move to page 23 of your material and we have this conversation, which is a part of a unit number two. And we're going to be reading and practicing about the schedules. In this case, it says collective schedule showing basic and common tasks in a restaurant. We're going to talk about the schedule activities at the workplace. So yes, we continue talking about daily routines and so. We have this conversation and we're going to practice. I'm going to read it for you first and you can practice it at home and with your microphone off. And then if you have any question about uh, pronunciation or any new word, you can let me know. Okay, let's see, we have Ben and Matthew. This is a very short conversation and yes, let's begin. Hey, Matthew, how's it going? Very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Okay, do you have any questions? Yes, what's the meaning? Real life. Oh, this one, relieved. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> Sorry. Relieved. Okay, relieved. Thank you, Hazel. Thank you for your question. Relieved, it means como aliviado o aliviada. I'm relieved. Estoy aliviada. Me siento aliviado. Uh -huh. Aquí dice que está aliviado porque todos están ahí. Para el tráfico, ajá, cuando alguien llega tarde, a veces le toca a otros cubrir, mientras los que llegan tarde, ¿verdad? So, yes, that's a good, one, a, a good reason to be relieved when you see that everybody is there, ready to work. 
Everybody, body, teacher, everybody. 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 Mm -hmm. Every okay. You're welcome. Everybody. Okay, and we have this one schedule. Schedule. Okay. Schedule. Schedule. Que es el, el itinerario, la agenda, el, el horario. Schedule. As this kind of ske schedule. That's like what? Come. Schedule. Schedule. Que, como que va a decir esqueleto. Que, schedule. 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 I hope you got it. Algo otra pregunta en el chat. Okay, you're welcome. Any other question? Ready to role play? Estamos listos para practicar en los breakout rooms? Eh, teacher, después de Mark, eh, M. Sof, ¿qué? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? And eso? Sophie. Sophie. Uh -huh. Ajá, es el, como Sofía, Sophie. Uh -huh. Sophie. Sophie. Mm. Ah, Sophie, Mark and Sophie. 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 Uh -huh. Sophie. Sophie. Okay, uh, let me stop sharing. This one is in page 23 Kate. of your material. Kate. Sorry? Kate, have Kate. The evening chef. Uh -huh. Evening. evening. Kate have the evening chef. Okay, let me stop sharing. Remember, this is on page 23 of your material. And also, you can find it in the presentation that I sent via WhatsApp. Before the class. Yes, let's practice. Okay, let's practice this conversation. Hello. Hello. Voy a, a ver si puedo compartir el conversación. la conversación. Uh -huh. Aquí está con. Si quiere empecemos a ver. Uh -huh. Hey Matthew, go sit going. Very good, Ben. I am relieved that every everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend? According to the scheduled mark and Sophie have the morning and after afternoon shift in the town. And Kate have the evening ship. Evening. Okay. You start. Okay. Hey, Mati, how is it going? It is going. Very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early? and late shift for the coming weekend. According weekend. to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tony and Kate have the evening shift. Okay. Awesome, very good. Alguien más estará? Está yo, Lisa, Marilyn, Melissa. Yeah. Ahí les dejo la pantalla, compañeros. Half the morning, afternoon, sheep and Tom and care. Kate, have the evening shift. Ok, ahora ustedes ven y yo soy Matthew. 
Okay. Hey, Matthew. How is it going? Very good, Ben. I'm really... Um, Ay, se me olvidó cómo se pronunciaba esa palabra. Relief, relief. Relief, ok. Gracias. Relief. Very good, Ben. I'm relieved. Relief. Relief, ok. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic you know. Sure. All right. Look. Who has the early and late? She for the coming week. According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Okay. Okay. Bye. Ahora practicamos con Daniela. Bye. Está bien. Bye. Después pienso si yo. Sí. Sí. Okay. Hey Matthew, how is it going? Very good, Ben. Very good, Ben. I am relieved that um every everybody 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 is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early the early and late shift for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, schedule. Uh -huh. according to the schedule, Mark and Sophie, sí, sí, es lo mismo, es lo mismo, and Sophie had the morning and afternoon shift, um, Tom, Han, Tom and Kay had the evening shift. Okay. Okay. Hey, Matthew, how is it going? Uh, very good, man. I believe that everybody's here today because of traffic, you know. You're, you're right. Look, who has been early and late for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Okay, thank you. Hoy Victory hey Sylvia. Mhm. Okay. Yo soy Matthew. Okay, yo soy. Ah, yo soy Ben. Okay. Hey Matthew, how is it going? Very good, Ben. I relieve that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early, early and late shifts for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mar and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Okay. Ahora cambiamos. Yes, okay. So ben. Hey Matthew, how's it going? Very good, Ben. I'm really ah, I no puedo decir esa palabra. <laughs> I'm really really that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift? for this coming weekend. According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Very good. Este, acá cuando dice shift, eh, se refiere al jefe. Oh, ¿A qué se refiere? Shift. Arno. ¿Cuál, perdón? En el shift. Yes. Pero uh -huh. shift. Uh, shift son los turnos. Ok. Los turnos, ¿verdad? 
quién tiene el turno de, de, de la mañana o de la tarde, etcétera. It's more like in restaurant, right? Como en restaurantes, pero también en almacenes. Creo que algunos almacenes también suelen trabajar como por turno, por ¿verdad? Turno. No todos los, sí. algunos empleados entran temprano uh -huh. eh, y se van temprano. Otros entran tarde para que son ya los que salen casi noche, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. siempre hay turno. Sí. Uh -huh. Son shifts. Fiche, eh, ese, y puede repetir cómo se dice esa palabra. Uh, which one? Este, um, lived. No, es. Uh -huh. Ajá, esa. Relieved. 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 Ajá, excelente. Relieved. Any other question? Todavía tenemos unos segundos. La schedule, teach, que es como se escribe schedule, schedule, entonces. Uh -huh. eh, Try not to, to look at it. Traten de no ver mucho cómo está escrito, porque si no, no van a estar como leyendo así siempre. Sí. Es uh -huh. que, como que va a decir esqueleto, es que, 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 schedule all right we're back again so i'm happy that i heard all of you practicing i guess only two rooms i couldn't join two rooms but most of you yes i check and you did a very good job with pronunciation And also uh, you were practicing with all your classmates. And yes, but I would like to know, is still a word that can be difficult for you? Hay alguna palabra aún que esté como difícil que quieran volver a repetir or we're okay? I'm okay, but I don't know what about the rest. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, I heard most of you practicing and you did a very good job. And, uh, you, oh, wow, what happened here? Okay. Uh, there are no questions with this um, vocabulary. We're going to move. And the next one that we have here is, um, here we have a schedule kind of like a organization here. Es más o menos cómo están organizados esos horarios. Who manage the restaurant and who cooks are the two questions that we need to, um, to answer. Let's see. Okay, here we are. Look at the schedule at the restaurant and answer the following questions. Number one, who manages the restaurant? And number two, who cooks? Let's see, there we have the cashier, cook, manager, order taker, waiter, and we have the names here. So, remember that there are a different shifts, son turno diferentes. So, let's take a look at them. Vamos a... Revisarlos un poco y a contestar estas dos preguntas. Who manages the restaurant and who cooks? I'll give you some time. Sorry, no escuché, me había levantado. Dígame. Oh, 
you, we just have to look at the um uh, like the um schedule that we have here tenemos un tipo agenda horario y tenemos que responder estas dos preguntas Ajá, y ver aquí que son diferentes uh, turnos, son diferentes shifts. So we have to answer these two questions. I don't know if somebody has the answer for number one. Who manages the restaurant? Jennifer Rodriguez. And Jennifer Rodriguez manages the restaurant. Yes, correct. And who cooks? Um, Kevin, Kevin Julie, Kevin Julie. Okay, so we can say that the early shift and the shift temprano, and the early shift, Kevin Julie and Karen Julie cook, and then in the late shift, Mateo Luz and Linda Harris. Mateo Luz and Linda Harris. Okay, good. Thank you so much. And then uh, we have here some information. Esta es una eh, como un repaso que uh, yo estoy segura que esto ya lo debieron ver. Creo que se ve en el básico cuatro por ahí. Um, and this, uh, this is just because remember that yarn. For example, in this uh, example that we have here, siempre que vemos un gerund, el gerund, ¿a qué nos referimos con un gerund? Ay, ¿qué pasa? Okay. Give me one second, que se me volvió a mover esto. Hmm. Okay. Siempre que vemos un yarn, cuando hacemos yarn es el ING, el ING. No siempre que vemos ING es que es un continuo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, aquí no diría él es bueno a, a jugando ajedrez. So, um, not all the time. And here, for example, he has difficulty in sending SMS. No tendría sentido decir él tiene dificultad en enviando. Like, no, right? So, uh, when you see a germ, and this sometimes happens with after a, an adjectives or prepositions, those are the cases in which we, we can find germs. Okay, so importante, esto es solo como un repaso porque um, en las siguientes preguntas ven acá en el ejercicio 4 de la página 24. It says, who is in charge of waiting the tables? So tenemos aquí una preposición y luego un germ. Entonces no tendría sentido si nosotros queremos O pensamos que siempre que hay ING es, es como decir, es sirviendo el, el, lo que conocemos como ando, yendo. Por ejemplo, no, no tendría sentido decir aquí, ¿quién está en, eh, a cargo de sirviendo las mesas? en el, so, no, no tiene sentido. Esto solamente obedece a la regla eh, o a la función gramatical que tiene, que siempre después de un adjective o un verbo, una preposición. Si vamos a poner un verbo, este verbo tiene que ir en gerundio. Y aquí tenemos algunos y aquí está la explicación. A germ, um, a germ of ten, often known as ing word. Normalmente se conoce como una ing word. No es, um, no le estamos llamando como verbo, no es, no es like a, for a specific, no es para un tiempo específico gramatical, sino que se le conoce como una ing word. Es un noun, que un noun, cuando decimos noun, es todo lo que nos rodea, ¿verdad? Eh, todo es un noun, una silla, una mesa, una persona, eh, una computadora, like this, right? Es un noun formed by a verb by adding ing. Germs are commonly used after an adjective plus a preposition. A veces puede ser que encontremos, eh, esto es una forma bien usual de encontrar germs. 
cuando tenemos un adjetivo y una preposición. Si después de un adjetivo y una preposición hay una acción, esta acción va a llevar, eh, va a ir en, eh, con ing word. Ok. So, aquí el adjetivo, por ejemplo, es bueno. Good. Luego tenemos la preposición, que es lo que nos dice aquí, after an adjective. In this case, good. Then a preposition. Okay, the preposition is at. So then the verb is going to be in ing form. He is good at playing chess. So yes, in these cases, we got adjective plus preposition plus gerund. Y tenemos algunos ejemplos, um, uh, like adjectives followed with preposition and then gerund. Uh, aquí están las prepositions y algunos adjetivos que comúnmente podemos ver combinados con esas preposiciones. Of, for, about, at, in, on. So, for example, we have here scared of, fun of, afraid of, bored of. Oh my God. Vamos a chequear esto. Creo que es el mouse. <laughs> Está recargado. Okay. Tired of, proud of, famous for, responsible for, sorry for, happy about, anxious about, crazy about, excited about, angry about, sorry about, good at, bad at, angry at, excellent at, interested in, successful in, Keen on. Do we have questions? Hagan preguntas. Si las tienen, ¿verdad? Si no, asumo que todo está bien y continuamos. <laughs> yes? No questions? No, teacher. Thank you. Okay. So, esto les puede servir eh, para practicar esto, lo que son gerunds after adjective plus preposition. Y solo sería de pues, ir seleccionando o si um, quieren hacer un ejemplo con cada uno de estos, that would be excellent. Eh, recuerden que después de la preposición tendría que ir un gerund. Un, uh, like we said, uh, un verbo con ing word, okay? Ese es, um, yes? Okay, chef. Okay, y esas son algunas combinaciones. Um, por ejemplo, uh, famous for. You can say like, Sonny Ramos is famous for serving ribs okay so we got the verb serving and then lo que sirven ahí lo, lo más famoso costillas Tony Romas is famous for serving uh, or for offering ribs for ofrecer costillas for offering ribs mm -hmm. it's only something example mm -hmm. Like, yes, like so. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you can write some examples. Pueden ir escribiendo en su tiempo libre. Aunque van a tener vacaciones para que no se les olvide. Right. Okay. And then it says, um, yearn, it's, yes, the next part. So it says uh, commonly after a uh, verb plus a preposition. También puede ser que nada más esté el verbo y después la preposición y después tengamos un gerund form. No necesariamente siempre con adjetivos, así como lo vimos acá en la anterior, ¿verdad? So yes, a veces puede ser que necesitamos que tengamos algún adjetivo, luego la preposición y luego el gerund sería la estructura. Y también puede ser... Um, con gerund, eh, perdón, verb, preposition, plus the gerund. Like, for example, some combinations, 
dream of, died of, consist of, approve of, accuse of, suspect of, apologize for, ask for, blame for, care for, decide for, forgive for, pay for, thanks somebody for, dream about, ask about, complain about, warn somebody about, care about, forget about, think about, worry about, carry on, concentrate on, congratulate on, depend on, insist on, plan on, escape from, protect from, prevent from, keep somebody from, stop somebody from, object to, adjust to, be used to, believed in, involve somebody in, succeed in, stay up, and give up. Those are some combinations of vocabulary that can help you to practice this topic. Is there any question? No, teacher. Okay. Now, if there are no questions, we can move to the next slide. And it says, read the schedule again and answer the, the questions below. Who is in charge of waiting the tables in the morning shift? So, tenemos la primera pregunta y tenemos que contestarla pues siguiendo la estructura correcta, tratando de dar eh, respuestas completas para que podamos practicar lo que acabamos de ver. So, son cinco preguntas. Vamos a hacer la primera juntos. So remember, who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift? So tenemos que buscar eh, otra vez acá. Y nos vamos. Lo que necesitamos son los waiters, ¿verdad? Aquí está waiter, Walter Olmo. Matthew too, and then also we have Haley Duque and Oscar Sagradio. Necesitamos los de qué shift? Like the morning, right? So in this case, we have Walter and Matthew. Entonces nuestra respuesta sería Matthew, and who was the other guy? Walter. Entonces, como es un plural, la respuesta nos quedaría Matthew, Matthew and Walter, and Walter are in charge. Are, uh -huh, because yes. it's plural, are in charge mm -hmm. of waiting tables. Of, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Of waiting tables in the morning. Okay, so ahí está la respuesta y se las escribí en el chat. Matthew and Walter are in charge of waiting tables in the morning. Then we have four more. Tenemos cuatro más que vamos a responder en grupo para que sea más fácil. Ok, let me Teacher. stop. Yes? Solo para tener una idea. Eh, lo que acaba de enviar, ¿cómo sería la traducción para así agarrar una idea? Eh, para decir la, la, cómo lo interpretaríamos, sería como um, ahorita que... Sería Matthew y Walter están a cargo de servir las mesas en la mañana. Es como una rutina, sería ahí el waiting, ¿verdad? Sí, la diferencia ahí es que tenemos eh, el verbo in charge, luego la preposición y luego hay otro verbo. Entonces, el segundo verbo de la oración toma forma de germ, que se conoce como ing word. 
y eso no, eh, lo que tenemos que tener en mente que ahí ese ING no es un sirviendo, no está hablando de un tiempo pre continuo, sino que está cumpliendo la función de, eh, de lo que se hace cuando hay un verbo después de una preposición. Ah, ok. Eh, por eso el, el tú, ¿verdad? La separación de los dos verbos. Entonces el otro iría en ING. En ING. Ok, gracias. Ok. Any other question? Ok. If there are no more questions, I'm going to lead you to the breakout rooms. Just let me see. Okay, there we go. Teacher, agregame nuevamente a la sala. A la hora que le iba a dar a aceptar, le di salir. <laughs> okay, no worries. Thank you. Okay. Bueno, a mí me cuesta, yo no sé. Ay, se la compartí. Sí, está. Gracias. Gracias. Bueno, las preguntas eran. In charge of managing the restaurant. Jennifer Rodríguez. Is. Uh -huh. La dos, who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Uh -huh. Era Jennifer. ¿no? Yes. Jennifer Rodríguez is in charge. Y completamos la, la oración. Is in charge. Sí. Is in charge of managing, of the, managing the restaurant. Of managing the restaurant. Restaurant. Who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning shift? In the morning, charge of the kitchen. Mm. Cook. <laughs> Kevin and Kevin and Karen. Mm -hmm. Mina, mm -hmm. sí. Kevin and I'm... Karen is in church. Is in church of the kitchen in the morning shift. No, art. 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 Art uh -huh. in, in church. In the morning. Who is in charge of talking orders during in the morning shift? In the morning. Walter. Walter Omo and Matthew Tully. Uh -huh. Order taker is our George in cards. Taking orders. Yes. Taking orders. George and 
Carlos. Art in church of the of of taking orders. Mucho comer. Sorry. Probé ese bollento ya. Mi amor, mi Y ya, mamá. Ya, Marlon. What does Matthew do? Okay, um sharing the screen again. So uh volunteer to answer the number two. Who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Who is in charge of managing the restaurant? And volunteer to answer that question. Jennifer Rodriguez is in charge of managing the restaurant. Excellent. Thank you so much, Cecilia. Thank you. Uh, number three, volunteer. Who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning shift? Kevin Dull is in charge. Hola. Uh huh. Okay. Kevin Dull is in charge of the kitchen in the morning shift. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. Who is in charge of taking orders during the morning shift? Volunteer for number four. George and Carlos are in charge of taking orders during the morning shift. Thank you so much, Cynthia. Excellent. And the last one, what does Matthew do? What does Matthew do, volunteer? He's a uh, waiter. Matthew said weather. Okay, 
Yes, Matthew is a waiter. That's what he said. Okay. Uh, next exercise is in pages the 24 uh, is for us to write five questions on your own and ask them to a classmate. Para el ejercicio 5, tienen que escribir cinco preguntas, ¿ok? Y uh, luego hacer las preguntas a algún compañero o compañera. Les escribí algunas como ejemplo. So, the, where do you work? Is your workplace far from where you live? Do you work only on weekdays? And you can write two more. Pueden escribir nada más dos o pueden escribir las cinco, ¿verdad? Dependiendo si el tiempo no se alcanza. Escriban las que sea. Okay. So let me see. I'll give you five minutes for you to write your questions. And you can use also those three that you have there in the example and write two additional questions that you will ask to your classmates later. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Del cuadro que está ahí, esas preguntas nosotros las vamos a personalizar, vamos a hacer cinco preguntas distintas. Um, mm, sí, cinco preguntas diferentes para que luego van a practicar speaking con sus compañeros, compañeras de clase. Con, eh, aquí les escribí tres ejemplos de preguntas que pueden utilizar, como where do you work? Is your workplace far from where you live? Do you work only on weekdays? Um, y ahí pueden agregar dos más. Esas preguntas luego se las van a hacer a sus compañeros en el grupo. Ok, excelente.
finished. You finish your questions. I finished teacher. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. I will join you to the breakout rooms. Remember to practice with what you have. Practiquen con lo que tienen. Um, y ustedes decidirán qué dinámica van a tener en el grupo para practicar speaking, uh, preguntarla y responder, ¿verdad? Ask and answer in the groups. This is about you. Esto es acerca de ustedes, no es relacionado a la conversación ni al, ni al horario que tenía anteriormente. So this is about you. Uh, we're going to practice for a while and then we're going to check attendance again. So let me stop sharing and get you to the breakout rooms. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello. Terminaron de hacer las preguntas, chicos. Uh, 
Hola. Eh, este, ya hicieron las, las preguntas. Yo hice las últimas dos restantes. <ríe> Dijo, dijo el teacher que podíamos cambiarlas, podíamos personalizar las cinco preguntas en total. Yo solo dos agregué. Tomé las que estaban en el ejemplo y hice dos personalizadas. Yo sí las personalicé, las, las modifica las primeras tres. ¿Cuántos somos ahorita? Cinco. Eh, seis. Ah, sí, cinco. Ahí, ahí está la teacher. Yes, I am here. <laughs> Me, si gusta entonces, este. Carlos, diga las mm. suyas. Bye. Let me ask on the most. What do you like about your job? Mm. I like my work is um, review the chicks and no sé cómo se dice realizar conciliaciones bancarias. Repito, ¿cómo era la pregunta? Ah, la pregunta. Uh -huh. La pregunta es, what, what do you like about your job? ¿Qué te gusta acerca de tu trabajo? Uh -huh. bueno, con lo que había mencionado este Carla es Perform Bank Reconciliations sería así es verdad realizar conciliaciones bancarias Yes Ah, pues sí, ah, pues así se tendría que decir perform bank reconciliations. Así tendría que hacer la respuesta. En la segunda yo puse you're happy with your current job. You repeat, please. Okay, la segunda yo puse. You are happy with your current job. ¿Eres feliz con tu trabajo? Con tu trabajo actual. Oh. Yes, yeah. yes I do. ¿Alguien tiene la tercera de distinta forma o la modificó? Yo puse, where do you spend your weekend? ¿Cómo? Where do you spend, spend a sport weekend? ¿Cómo sería ahí? Lo puede escribir en el, en el chat. Sí, sí, ahorita. Bye. Ahorita.
no sé por qué no me puedo meter. Ah, como no aquí está el chat. ¿Ya lo Sí, ya, ya. What is your work schedule? ¿Cuál es tu agenda laboral o de trabajo? Ah, ya no llaman. <ríe> Micrófono, no sé si está bien escrito ahí. What do you like about your show? ¿Qué te gusta de tu trabajo? Eso ya lo habíamos puesto. Sí. ¿Cuál sería entonces ahora la que sí? Ah, yo, uh -huh. gracias. La otra que habíamos puesto era esta otra. Okay, how's the practice? Did you practice a lot? <laughs> I know it was a few times for muy poco tiempo, I know, but I heard uh, this one room and they practice a little, at least a couple of questions. But yes, this is about just taking advantage of time, which is what we did. And just before we finish, we're going to check attendance for the second time. And also check who's going to be today for the breakout room. So for today is, this is, this is the number eight. It's, it will be Francisco, if you can stay a couple of minutes after the class, that would be great for you one-on-one. And uh, let's see. Avelena Nilsson. Present. Thank you. Abigail Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Carlos Emilio. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecia Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Hazel Vanessa. Present. Thank you, Hazel. So yesterday is the number. Uh, let's see, eight. So yes, Hazel, is your turn for the one on one. Sorry. You did say Yasmin. Oh, sorry, you did say Yamilet. You said yes, it's going to talk. Carla Daniela. Carla Ivania. Yes, I'm teacher. Thank you so much. And let's continue. Carla Lorena. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra. Present. Thank you. Melissa Esther. Present. Thank you. Mirna Yanet. Present teacher. Thank you so much. And then we have, let's see, Roberto Emilio. Mm, Roberto Emilio, no con esto ahora. And Santos Cristina. Present teacher. And Victor Noé. Present teacher. Thank you, Victor. So thank you so much for joining. That will be it for today. And see you tomorrow for more. Good night. Good night.
Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Me dijo que me quedara de después de verdad, dicho. Yes, Hazel. Ah. Sí, le tocaba su uno a uno. Es la sección 8 y usted es la número 8 en la lista. So, yes. ¿Cómo va? ¿Cómo Ay. se ha sentido hasta ahora? Voy a esperar un momento. He entendido bastante bien los temas. Este es solo ahora que se me conecté un poquito tarde, que me costó ese ahí medio incorporarme. Pero las otras clases bastante bien, la verdad. Okay. Y pues algunas pronunciaciones que pues sí me cuestan bastante. <ríe> pero solo de practicarlas más. Yes, es practice. Es en la pronunciación es más que todo práctica y pues enfocarse siempre en las palabras que pues sentimos que nos están dando un poquito de dificultad. A veces funciona escribirlas tal cual las escuchamos y pues eh, hay algún tema en, en que le pueda ayudar aparte de lo que es la pronunciación que eso pues ya vemos es práctica, ¿verdad? Pues de lo que hemos visto por el momento, como le digo, todo está bastante, bastante bien. Ok, ¿y Ahí. con los ejercicios de la plataforma? Bien, también. <ríe> es ahorita uh, me estaba, voy, bueno, de esa unidad solamente he hecho la tarea, bueno, voy por la tarea 7. Ah, no, digamos no he hecho. Ajá, o sea... Hice la tarea 7 y bueno, hoy no, como le digo, me conecté un poquito tarde, entonces no logré tampoco revisar la tarea 8. Pero no. sí voy, trato de, de ir al día y solo eso más que todo para que tengo que practicar más. Y bueno, estoy tratando igual en el trabajo tal vez de, de repasar un poquito lo, el tema que hemos visto, o sea, cómo utilizar por ejemplo los conectores que estábamos viendo la vez pasada, el viernes como poner más ejemplos y este esos utilizarlos o sea no solo quedarme con la de la clase que me cuesta un poco porque no soy tan auto autodidacta creo que es este dice <ríe> pero sí más que todo practicarlo un poco más entonces digamos que en, en sí lo que le preocupa digamos un poco más es la pronunciación nada más Sí, la pronunciación y las nuevas palabras pues, que voy anotando y, y, y tratando de aprendérmelas. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Y uh -huh. qué hace para aprenderse las palabras nuevas? ¿Cómo las practica? Ay, ajá, es lo que le mencionaba que trataba en el trabajo de, este, de utilizarlas. O sea, ver cómo las puedo utilizar pues, en el diario. O sea, hacer más oraciones o, más, o ponerlas más en práctica para una, para practicarlas y dos, para que no se me olvide. Ah, excelente. Ajá. Pero sí, me, me, o sea, eso más que todo me cuesta como organizar como las oraciones y adaptar las palabras, pero uh -huh. ahí estamos practicando. Sí, es, es práctica y eso nada más, ¿verdad? Este, como seguir las estructuras, hay gente que le sirve mucho seguir las estructuras, así como las que les mostraba al principio de la clase, ¿verdad? Que primero va el sujeto, que después el adverb y todo eso, siguiendo esa como estructura, hacer como planas y así se va como mecanizando. Esa es una buena forma de eh, practicar las oraciones, que es lo que dice cuesta un poco estructurar, siguiendo sí. las estructuras, las fórmulas, digamos, eh, eso funciona bastante, como ponerse a hacer por lo menos cinco oraciones diarias siguiendo alguna estructura específica, le va a ayudar un montón. Ok, perfecto. Y de la clase, algo que sienta que le ayude, que le haya gustado para seguirlo haciendo o practicarlo un poco más. Pues hasta el momento me ha gustado pues la verdad el método que se está utilizando, la participación de, de todos al momento que este, practicamos las conversaciones, ¿verdad? Que usted de forma lenta eh, 
este, repite la, las oraciones y las conversaciones, entonces eso me ayuda bastante a entender las, o sea, las palabras nuevas que no, no logro captar. Entonces, al momento que se lee despacio, pues se le entiende bastante. Igual la, la, ajá, la entonación y las pausas, entonces eso sí me ayuda también bastante. Entonces, Ok, good Bien, to know. Marita. Gracias <ríe> por Gracias. hacerlo saber, así que vamos a seguir um, practicando de esa forma, leyendo para ustedes y hacerlo siempre a lo más pausado que, que se pueda. para Y pues nada más invitarle a que siempre participen. Ahora estuvieron muy participativos, lo cual es muy bueno. Y pues invitarle a que siga participando activamente para que sigamos mejorando día con día. Ok, ya saben. Ok, ¿hay Muy algo que quisiera agregar, Gisela, antes de que cerramos la sesión? No, solamente eso. No, gracias. Ok, ok, la dejo que descanse entonces. I hope that you sleep very well and see you tomorrow. Thanks, teacher, see you tomorrow. Ok, see Have you, a good night. Well. you do the same, bye. Bye.